Hey friends, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going over our Sunday reset routine. I also have 10 tips I wanna share with you to help get you through the week and get your home more organized. And also we're talking about how social media has glamorized being a stay at home mom. So make sure you stay tuned for that and let's get into today's video. I just put a lot of this stuff up. Um, I feel like I just did a grocery haul on my channel, so um, I didn't want to bore you guys with another one. <laughs> but basically, we just got back from Walmart and I decided to go ahead and get the time and table. This is a two piece rectangular baker set, and I really wanted it for the polka dots. The, this one right here was just kind of like an added bonus, but I want to use these to put my mac and cheese and then I'll probably end up putting my meatballs in this one because ever since I had the Dutch oven I've just noticed so much of a difference you guys so um, I think these the mac and cheese and stuff will cook really well in these type of containers because they get really really hot so that's what I plan on doing um, I'm probably gonna wash these in a few minutes but I got that and then I also got these little nutcrackers I told you guys how much we love nutcrackers over here so this is it right here. This I wanted to do kind of like as a little family time together where me and the boys can paint the nutcrackers. Mari wanted the Christmas tree right here. So he's gonna paint the Christmas tree and me and Trey are gonna paint the nutcrackers. So we're gonna spend some time together later on this afternoon and kind of just work on this and then we'll set it out. I'll probably use these for my tablescape. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do as far as the design for the table. So I'll try and have that together. Last I showed you guys, we did end up putting one chair together so far. This is how it looks. This is the back. It has like the little pull on the back, which is so adorable. Love it. That way you can just kind of pull the chair out very easily. And then this is how the chair looks. This is the box right here that came and I figured all four wouldn't fit in this box. Well, long story short, they didn't send us the other one. So I've been in contact with Amazon trying to get the other two chairs. And then we put this one together, but the legs were uneven on this one. So um, Ryan kind of made, worked his magic and then I was able to stick the little, you know how they have like the little sticky things on the bottom so that you don't scuff the floor up. I ended up putting two on the front leg of this one. So it ends up working out. It's not wobbly anymore, which is good. But um, I'm going to see if I can talk to the Amazon seller to see if they can either give us another leg or send us another chair. I have on like my little fuzzy Barbie sweater. It's so cute and comfortable, you guys. Like, I don't know if you can see the material, but it's just... It's warm and comfortable. Today is really, really cold out. We're under like a freeze watch. So I wanted something warm in the house. With today being a Sunday reset, I wanna share with you what we normally do on Sundays to kind of prepare the boys and stuff for school. I normally don't do my makeup, but I'm getting ready to go somewhere really quick. So I wanted to look presentable and then I'll come back and then we'll go ahead and get started on the Sunday reset. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun Come on, let's get it on Like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we Getting tired 
If you're new here, hi, my name is Crescent from the Millennial Suburban Mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two boys, and I do cleaning, decorating, DIYs, homemaking videos. So we'd love to have you here. We're also a military family that just moved to California. So I am sharing tips and tricks for stay-at-home moms on how to be productive and just different things that we are changing and doing in the house, you guys. We still are unpacking and probably will be for the next couple of weeks, but I am taking you guys on that journey with us. So definitely subscribe, it's free. All you have to do is click that red button to be notified of any new uploads. So with a schedule that feels forever busy and a to-do list that grows about a mile long, I've come to really appreciate reset days. And I like that I do my reset days on Sundays. And as you guys saw previously, I like to clean up the kitchen a little bit so that I can start making the boys lunch. And it really helps me out a lot because I feel like I have a lot on my mind, especially with getting the boys stuff ready for the previous week. I like to make sure I do the lunches at nighttime, but on Sundays, I like to do it in the afternoons. That way I don't have to think about it and I can kind of focus on what we're gonna have for dinner. But before I get into my routine and I start giving you examples of what you can do on your Sunday resets or whatever day you like to choose for your reset days, I wanted to share with you not to get overwhelmed. I feel like if this is something you're not used to or you're, you're wanting to start, it can be overwhelming because you start to think of everything that needs to be done and you try and do it all in that one day. But there are particular things that I like to do on Sundays. Now starting off with the boys room, I did wash their bed sheets and I like for them to start off the week with clean sheets. I like all of us to actually start off with clean sheets. And I know it sounds like a lot, but I do this pretty much every Sunday. I have been doing this probably for a few months now, so it literally is a habit for me. There are certain things in the house that I just tend to clean out of habit on Sundays. I don't deep clean everything. And then sometimes if I do get certain things done, which I will share with you guys a list, then I will try and do maybe some new things. It depends on how tired I am, how busy the schedule is, if we have a lot, if we had plans for that day, like it's, it all depends on your schedule and you have to kind of make it work with your family lifestyle. So a few examples would be to clean out your fridge, maybe charge your electronics, do laundry, change your bed sheets, scrub your bathroom, your showers, kind of wash your carpets and rugs that are in your bathroom as well too. You can even do organization, change out your decor from holiday to seasonal. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can even get fresh flowers. That's one thing I used to like to do on Sundays is buy myself like a bouquet of flowers and then just have it in the kitchen. I need to get back to doing that because it did make me feel really, really good. I also like to do self-care, things that are for me. So once I'm done cleaning the house, some days I will paint my nails if I have time or I'll wash my hair or you know just girly things. So it all depends on your schedule. Um, it's mainly about planning ahead of time. Like if you have a planner, maybe write down the things that you wanna do for that Sunday reset so that you don't feel overwhelmed. And it really can be something that helps your family out depending on what you do and what works for your family. I saw this TikTok and I feel like every video I have a different TikTok that I see and I really need to start saving them so I could show you guys but lately I don't know if it's just me but I I guess because of the content that I watch I've been starting to see more and more of the younger generation start talking about stay-at-home moms and how they be how they would like to be one and how they feel like all they see is like us go to Pilates and getting our nails done and going shopping and going to Target. So they want that lifestyle. So I was actually talking to my sister about it and I was just telling her how that's kind of like an 80-20 viewpoint on being a stay-at-home mom because a lot of times when you see us out like that, We've either just dropped the kids off at school, so we're trying to rush and run our errands, or we're just trying to get things done in the time frame that we have. Some stay-at-home moms only have their kids in daycares for a few hours, and other stay-at-home moms like myself have their kids in school. So when you see us out at like Target or getting our nails done, that's kind of like a form of self-care. 
And I feel like you only see us like that for a couple of hours because the rest of the time we're picking the kids up from school and then it's really on from there. Like once they get home, they're either taking a nap or they're getting ready to play or they're doing their homework and the nighttime routine just really begins. So it's not as glamorous as everybody says it to be. I mean, I know there are different stay at home moms that actually, I guess, don't really have a lot to do. That is their kind of, that is their lifestyle, but it's not mine. And I just felt like I kind of wanted to say something because I just see so many TikToks with glamorized stay at home mom lifestyles. So anyways, um, I wanted to share with you a few things. We're getting the boys clothes ready for the week. I like to pick out their outfits for them or at least set it up for Mari. Mari likes to pick out his outfit. And Trey, I like to gather his outfits together because it's just easier and faster in the morning to already have what he's going to wear. So that is how I set myself up for my Sunday resets. I like to wipe the rest of the house down, just kind of clean everything as we go. And I also like to get the boys boot bags together too. That way they could just reach for them when it's time to go. And that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.